As I said many a time before, I don't believe in doors. I especially don't believe in them since there's no doors to be up here. Still don't know how I got up here though, so let's make our own. Quasimodo's gonna have a fit! Gosh, I certainly hope there wasn't any way down there. I really need to think these through. Woohoohoo! No, I'm only kidding. Alright, right, I'm okay. The nice hard floor broke my fall. Oh, God damn it. Ah! Perhaps if I back up a little and get more. I might not believe in doors, but I do believe in stairs, so let's use them. Anything's better than dealing with this idiocy. Now then! There, I figured that might have worked. Too many grapple points. Too many chefs in the kitchen. But what's this? The island changed little over the years. Its reputation was in tatters. But I vowed to fix it. As the buildings were rebuilt, I saw the future. A bright, wonderful future. A glorious future filled with blood that I spilled. Ha ha ha. And just keep going up and up, 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 up. Oh. Okay, well, I guess there is a way to get up here, or get back up here after all. In case I missed something. Did I miss anything? Open. It's locked. I need to find another way down. Oh. Pfft. Strange. I don't know how you got it to begin with, but that's neither here nor there. Now I can do this. Ha! <laughs> don't even have to open this one up. I could, but I don't have to. I still don't know who the main man in the main house, uh, hall is, though. Try and get past me, Bats, and I will fry you! <laughs> Lucky for me, I didn't get zapped. Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Listening to Zaz make the good doctor scream while you played around in Scarecrow's world. How was it this time? Learn anything about yourself? Oh, tell me. Put up a seat. Talk to me. I'm all ears. Actually, that reminds me. I could have sworn I heard Zaz cutting her ears off. It certainly sounded like it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having a jokey time about it. But in the meantime, what's this about cat nonsense? Cat woman, Selena Kyle. I think this is the clue. Ah! Are you not sports entertained? What's going on here? Patience. <laughs> Always cheating with this guy. An orphan who learned to survive on the Gotham City streets, Selena Kyle took to theory to survive. But determined to do it in style, she learned martial arts and trained extensively to perfect her skills at cat burglary. Her criminal activities are often tempered by a reluctant altruism, making her an inconsistent villain and occasional hero. She regularly eludes capture for by the Dark Knight and maintains a complicated, adversarial relationship with Batman that frequently turns flirtatious and occasionally legitimately romantic. So as you can see, they had uh, quite some fun times after Blackgate. Well, what the hell? She was in the first Batman comic? Huh, I didn't know that.
Only one I ripped from that was the uh, the Joker uh, comic. I'm going to have to look at that. Especially stylish with a whip, a cat and nine tails, capable of astonishing stealth, obsessed with and adept at stealing famous and well-protected items, drawn to cat motifs. Also, I can level up. And I did say I was going to get this thing. Times five instead of times eight. That will do me nicely. My god! Look at the positioning. That's gotta hurt. Actually, hold on a second. Huh? It does kind of look like the, uh, the goggles she will wear in Arkham City. There's a friend there. I don't know who that is. Stay where you are, Batman. Oh, it's of no concern. Listen to me carefully. Help me! Come any closer, I'll paint the room crimson with her blood. I know you're still out. Look at his look at his chain on his wrist. Sirs, what are you talking about? Just kill her. She's useless to me now. But if I kill her, the bat will get me. No, you're not scared of a little bat, are you, Slicey? Stay back, Batman. I mean it. I was never quite good at listening. Ah! Oh! You monster! You evil, evil, evil monster! <laughs> He's not going anywhere. You can stop now. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I saw Bane. I know. I, I, Joker threatened me. I wanted to stop the experiment. I tried to give him his money back. Joker doesn't take no for an answer. He wants an army, a horrible twisted force to destroy Gotham, but he couldn't do it without the formula. I hid it, but... So now he has Venom and your formula. God, he has gallons of the stuff. There's a lab, hidden in the gardens. It's locked off, but the security key codes for the entire island are in the warden's safe. What else is Joker planning? How should I know? You think anything he says makes sense? I think he's insane. Oh, how shit! Oh my god! Get out of the way! <laughs> What's up, assholes? Who wants a taste? I'm not feeling too good. I'm about to share my headache with you. Oof. Oh. Running kick gets him every time. Oracle, Dr. Young is dead. Have you figured out a way past these security gates? Before she died, she told me there's a production plant hidden somewhere in the gardens. The Wayne Tech security protocols seem to be hackproof. We just did a good job. It's a two-part biometric sequence, apparently generated by the warden, using a code sequencer. And destroyed by Joker in the safe explosion. Harley Quinn has the warden, and he's the only chance we have to get past these gates. Okay. Good luck. Don't you just love it? You spend all this time trying to save Dr. Young and she dies anyway. Yikes. Okay, sada, sada, and all that whatnot. Luckily for us, Harley gave us a clue to work with down here. 
He never was all that bright. Well, now time now it's time to find out where uh she grabbed Quinch uh, dragged Quincy sharp butt. And also, get a little uh, get a little, our little friend here. It's Scarface. Isn't the warden too old for a puppet show? Gotham's Blackgate Penitentiary once had a gallows tree from which 313 criminals with death sentences were hanged. The wood from that tree was whittled by an inmate into the puppet Scarface, and that inmate was murdered by Arnold Wesker, a man who soon fell under Scarface's influence. While most believe that Scarface is simply a tool through which Wesker, as the criminal mastermind the ventriloquist, acts out a dark side of his personality, Wesker himself believes that Scarface is possessed by the souls who died beneath the gallows tree, and the puppet actually motivates him to commit the duo's many crimes. So yeah, that's creepy as all balls. Get the Gatman! <laughs> Got tight little gangster shorts and everything. Anything else around here that I can make use of? That has been blown to shit. You know, I do believe there might have been a cleverly hidden Easter egg at some point around here. But first, let's get a Riddler trophy. At last, I thought you'd never find. Record breaker, net breaker, back breaker, spirit breaker, breaker breaker, one niner. <laughs> oh, it can't be. Oh, no. There's the millions and billions. I do believe there was an area in the warden's office where you'd be able to spray explosive gel. That wasn't actually marked down on uh, detective vision. Not there. I'd have to look it up because I really want to find it on my own. Well, not so much on my own, but just find it on uh, footage for lane play. And it actually leaves a smudge, too. That's weird. Is it actually doing anything, though, I wonder? Because that's... I don't think that's ever happened before. Okay. Guess not. Somewhere around here. I really want to find that, so I think I'm going to just. Uh, I think I'm just going to stop the video and look it up and, uh, See what's going on. So this is going to be a shorty. <laughs> 